Hello friends, I am Vinit Agrawal. In this video, we will learn how to develop a Java program in which we can check whether the given number is Armstrong or not. Okay friends, for making this, I am just creating a new class. I have opened a new notepad file. So, I am just typing the class Armstrong in public static void mean. I'm just taking a number in a variable a. Let's assume the number is 153. Friends, most of the students are not familiar with Armstrong number. So let me tell you what is Armstrong number. Armstrong number is a number which is equal to the summation of cube of each digit of that number. On the screen, you are seeing the number is 153. Whether it is Armstrong or not, as you all know, it is Armstrong because 153 is equals to cube of 1 plus cube of 5 plus cube of 3. If we calculate this equation, we will get 153. So, this is the Armstrong number. But through programming, we have to check whether this number is Armstrong. After creating this program, we will take the value from keyboard and then we will check whether the given number is Armstrong or not. Take another variable for finding the remainder value. Let assume it is R and then another variable which will have the summation of the cube of each digit of the number N. Let assume it is M and it must be assigned by 0 and take another variable in which we have to copy the value of n because when we execute the loop after execution of that loop the value of n will be 0. So that is why we are taking another variable let it assume it is p. Okay. Now I am just copying the value of n into p then I am starting a loop n is greater than 0. Finding the remainder by dividing the value of n by 10 it is a modular division actually. So first of all it will get the value 3. In m I am just using plus equal operator it is an assignment operator and then r into r into r. It means the cube of the remainder will be added to m and now n is equals to n divided by 10 means we are just deducting the rightmost digit of that number and then close the loop. After completion of the loop check whether the value of m is equals to p. If it is the given number is Armstrong system.out.println in which we can type given number is Armstrong. Otherwise given number is not Armstrong. Closing the main function and then close the class. Now I am saving it. I have saved this file with the name armstrong.java. Here we are at the path where I saved this file. I am just compiling this file and check whether it will be compiled successfully or not. Yes. And then run this program. Yes, given number is Armstrong. Actually, we know that this is the Armstrong number, but it is not the number given by user. So now we will take the value from user side. For taking the value, we have to import a package java.io.astrick because we will use some IO package class libraries. Here we are using buffered reader instantiated by the buffered reader constructor then new input stream reader then system.in I have explained the entire thing in my dedicated videos and now we have to input the value using the try here just in the message 
enter the value then n is equals to integer dot parse in because it will read the entire thing in a string by read line function catch the exception if any here i exception may be generated save it again now recompile the same file there is no error then run yeah it is asking some value okay i am just giving a value suppose uh, 152 the message is given number is not armstrong okay give another value like 407 as we know 407 is armstrong number yes given number is armstrong so friends through this video you will be able to make the program in java which will tell whether the given number is armstrong or not i think most of the students have enjoyed this video and this video must help those students who are preparing for interviews also in the next video i'll make the program in which we can find whether the given number is prime or not so don't forget to watch my next video thank you